Thank you very much, Daryl. And yes, our 2020 election extends to 2021. Happy holidays to you and yours. Now, as Daryl just mentioned, COVID-19 changed how the county did everything with the elections. In fact, it changed how Fulton did everything, period. FGTV's Priscilla Ortega continues our year in review coverage. Priscilla? Shania, yes, the pandemic impacted every single service offered by the county, and perhaps one of the most important and immediate modifications were made by the Fulton County Board of Health. Ready? I am, I am ready. This is how the final month of 2020 ended for Fulton's Board of Health, the anticipated and welcomed arrival of the COVID-19 vaccine. And it was a long time coming. The first quarter of 2020 and news of the first confirmed cases of the virus caused the health department to change not only how it had to operate, but also how it had to provide testing for residents in the largest county in the state. Fulton set up testing sites all around the county and thousands of people came to get tested. Fulton even partnered with international nonprofits with Hollywood celebrities to offer COVID testing. Uh, Core has been working with Fulton County for just over 100 days and we have jointly implemented over 100,000 tests. This is entirely due to that partnership with Fulton County. Atlanta Fulton County Emergency Management Agency and Board of Health. The health department even took its testing outreach into communities with the help of churches and civic organizations. Our church has partnered with the Fulton County uh, Health Department and we are offering uh, free COVID-19 testing. Uh, anybody can come. You don't have to have a doctor's uh, order. You don't have to have symptoms. Uh, anybody can come, but we're offering free COVID-19 testing to the community, uh, to Thomasville Heights community, but more important to anybody that wants to come. A massive communication strategy was launched, including TV ads. Because you make Fulton. And even PSAs warning the worst was still to come. Fulton County. Winter is coming. Winter is coming. And while the testing effort is still underway, so too is the challenge to get people vaccinated as more shipments are delivered to the county. The county's health director and epidemiology director were among the first to get the shots. We just received our first shipment of the um, COVID-19 vaccine. And so um, we are um, going to get started vaccinating people. This is something that the basically the entire world has been waiting for, a vaccine, a highly effective vaccine against a, basically a worldwide pa uh, pandemic. The flow of the dissemination of information has been non-stop from the county, which is why its external affairs and information technology teams created a special web presence on the county's website that continues to be updated daily. The Fulton County manager offered and continues to offer timely updates here on FGTV about the latest trends and COVID-19 related information. Now we are in the second wave. In fact, all of the statistics would indicate that. The most troubling, I think, statistic is the number of new cases. So at a low point, we were in the 60s. We're now approaching 240 new cases per day. So you can easily do the math to see that that's almost four times, but it's also double where we were just about a month ago. So that's clearly uh, not a good trend. Fulton's Emergency Management Agency also began releasing data daily regarding the cases, hospitalizations, and deaths from its partner organizations. And thanks to help from the federal government, the county was able to offer financial relief to organizations that provide food, jobs, and other essential needs for residents in serious need. We were thrilled uh, um, to have this opportunity um, to have the ammunition uh, to go to battle against this pandemic and uh, the, the ravages that it is uh, exacting on our community. So this helps tremendously. Uh, so thank you, Anna. Uh, and we're praying for you guys who are still on the front line, and thank you for making this happen. 
And now that the vaccine has started to be administered in the county, health officials and Fulton leaders are hoping that by spring, and certainly by the summer, the nation will have better control of the pandemic, leading to a new normal for 2021. And in the meantime, county and health officials continue to make the same recommendations they've been making most of the year, which is wearing a mask, washing your hands, and maintaining social distance. I'm Priscilla Baylock for FGTV.